Well, over the last three years, we've been consolidating our business back in Central Europe, building up on the portfolio that our sister company, Triagrant Development, have, de have developed, um, but also expanding our portfolio with third-party clients, so taking on new shopping centre mandates and office mandates across the Central European region. But in the last 12 months, our focus has really been on the Middle East, North Africa and China. I spent four years working down the Middle East a number of years ago, have a, a good network of contacts down there, and we've been building up our, our database down there and looking for new mandates. A few months ago, we signed a successful mandate in Cairo. We purchased some shares in a Design International Leasing, com leasing Company, and that's taken on the, the project Cleopatra Mall uh, in downtown Cairo. Now that's a 114,000 square metre shopping centre which will open in 2016, at the end of 2016, and we are now leading the leasing mandate on, on that property on behalf of the Cleopatra Group. So that's given us a very good stepping stone into North Africa. We are now in discussions for, for projects in Algeria and Morocco, and we hope to, to take on Libya as well once the political and economic situation there improves. But that has enabled us to open and formally launch our Dubai office, and uh, with Dubai having the uh, uh, Expo, Real, Expo in 2020, we, we see phenomenal growth uh, in, that, in that part of the region. Um, Dubai has been growing at a phenomenal rate for a number of years and we expect that, that growth to continue. And we launched our Dubai, Dubai office earlier this year. Uh, we have people on the ground there and we're looking to expand that through, through a number of new mandates. We signed a development mandate in a city called Putian, one of the third tier cities about two years ago. Uh, and we've been working with them, giving them full de development consultancy uh, advice. But China is a very difficult market to, to penetrate. So what we've done very recently is we signed a letter of intent to move towards a joint venture agreement with a Chinese real estate consultancy firm because we feel that you've got to have a local presence on the ground uh, to enable you to do business there because it's, it's, it, the, the, the business practice is very different to the way we do business in the West. And without that local market knowledge and local local people it's very difficult to penetrate so we've recently signed that and we picked up a couple of mandates and we think that 2015 could really be the launch pad for our, our real estate consultancy business uh, in, in China it's not somewhere we're going to put equity um, but but we are very confident that we can add a lot of value to the to the real estate market there